I started my um, media career uh, in the year of 1990. At that time, I was still uh, in my senior year in college, and the national television uh, had its first open audition for a prime time show about traveling around the world. And we have to bear in mind that at that time, 99% of Chinese people have never traveled overseas. More than 1,000 girls competed for that job. <laughs> uh, I was very lucky to kind of survive uh, after seven rounds of competition. But when the producer said they were looking for some uh, sweet, innocent girl image for that show, I was very offended. So I rose and, and said, you know, why can't we have, uh, you know, women making up their own mind and speaking out of their own mind and have their own opinion instead of just supporting Roe for a male counterpart? I, I thought I could have offended the, the producer, but actually they were quite impressed on the other side. Uh, so I was uh, kind of summoned for the next round of uh, audition. Um, so uh, when I was hosting that show, it became the first show uh, that uh, the host and hostesses um, could have their own lines um, uh, instead of you know reading out for some approved script. And later on, uh, I started the first in-depth interview show on Chinese television in the year of 1998 when I returned from my studies at Columbia University. Uh, I have been doing that show continuously until today. I have interviewed more than a thousand people around the world, including many state leaders and uh, leaders in business, society, art, and sports. Um, and from this year on, I've started in-depth investigative reports and in a more documentary kind of format.